Hi Capricorn, I just finished uploading your video for the energy of April 20th to the 30th and I got this message for you and then something came to me afterwards and I feel for some Capricorns what they're really going through is like some sort of divorce or breakup and they have decided to bury themselves in their work but the advice you got was crystal clear intentions but don't forget to this applies to whatever hardship that you're going to as well because from the last reading that I saw you were buried in your work and charging forward having a lot of great things happen to you and not dealing with some sort of emotional issue or betrayal that happened and that and that's not going to go away it's going to keep coming up in your life that betrayal till you do face it so in addition to what I said in that video, I also want to say set crystal clear intentions in regards to whatever heartbreak or fighting that you have going on with someone else, okay? Um, don't just put all your energy into charging forward with your work and ignore it because it's going to keep coming back. Okay, and I want to say happy Easter to everyone before I start. Happy full moon. Sorry that this video is so late getting up. I'm trying to do, commit to putting these videos up every, the beginning of the month and the 15th of every month. But I've been really far behind because I have a camera and a memory card that does not work so great. So I can only record a little tiny bit and then I have to splice everything together in the movie maker and it really sucks. So I set up a GoFundMe for the specific purpose of getting some better equipment for my work and for getting some equipment because I'm doing some psychic fears outside this summer. So please check out my GoFundMe. It's linked here with the video. All my readings are on sale. So if you would like a reading, go check that out. And if you're in America, you get a 25% off. But then if you donate to the my GoFundMe, I also will give you one question reading. And people that donate 30 or more get the one question reading and their name goes into a draw for one of my trans-channeled readings. Those are the, my professional readings are most of the time done with just focusing on people's energies. I don't necessarily use the cards. So that's what I mean by a trans-channel video. So Capricorn, I usually have the cards laid out. And I'm feeling for you just a lot of communication. Um, you need to make sure your chakras are nice and clear, especially where the throat chakra is concerned, because I feel... Issues around miscommunications or refusing to communicate about something. Um, so communication comes up strong for you in your readings for the energy for you for the next month, like from now to the 15th. So what can my Capricorns or people who are rising sign Capricorn, sun sign Capricorn, lots of Capricorn in your charts, through, this can resonate with you. And take what resonates, leave what does not, you know. Don't struggle with it. Okay, so Capricorns from the 1st to the 15th. Okay, this is beautiful because we ended your last reading with some fighting going on so it's nice to see that the end of the last reading I said that that would be that's like leading to healing for you it's a good sign actually because you went from the three of swords to the five of wands which shows me that whatever issue is on the men so this is Capricorn the first to the 15th of May. And you got a few difficult cards in there. Just like your last reading, Capcorn, you got 
a mixture. You had some difficult cards, but then mixed in with it is all these extremely dynamic cards here. So let me just take a look at this. You got your two knights. So you're busy, 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 busy. Like you were in the last reading. Busy, busy, busy Capricorns. Um, they like to work. They like to stay focused on goals. And often to leaving everything else out in life. Or putting everything else in a lower priority. Which doesn't always work so great in life. So let's see. Let's start. So we ended around the 30th with some a little bit of a struggle for you. But that struggle I predicted in the last video would lead to healing. And right away you got the healing card. So Capricorn, your reading for last month or for the 20th to 30th was so amazing. And right away you're starting off. Your May 1st to 15th, feeling great, feeling like you're on the top of the world, feeling like you're achieving your wishes. I feel like some of you made a big, huge per purchase, like a new home. Um, and like I say, I feel like people is feeling jealous of you. But this light blue really sticks out again is crystal clear intentions, crystal clear communications but you are in your element you start off me feeling good you feel like you're just perfectly in your right spot and top of the world is what i would like to use when i see the world card with it so i feel like there's a lot of luxury and abundance around you right now i feel body wise some of you have lost weight. Some of you have gotten out your summer clothes and noticed how great you look. All that working out paid off. So I feel like a very sexy vibe. Like you're feeling sexy, okay? You're feeling good. You're feeling like you belong and you're in your right place. And then the next card with it is the Knight of Swords. So this, to me, is extreme action. This is somebody who's charging forward, but it's in a very aggressive manner. So perhaps this has something to do with your last reading that you now are able to face a little bit of the heartbreak that you went through or the betrayal that you went through now you're more ready to say okay i can deal with this now i'm coming out of the gate with that sword in my hand and don't get in my way and i'm dealing with this okay i'm going to deal with whatever difficulty was in the past that i really didn't want to deal with i felt for you capricorn avoidance and just burying yourself in your work because you didn't want to deal with something. And I also felt for some Capricorns in the last reading, I didn't say it, that some of you are going through a divorce. Or you've been through the divorce, but you're being taken back to court because you're doing so good. You know, they see that you're making more money and they're jealous and they're angry. So I see some friction coming for you so the friction was around you in the last reading too but at the same time you're doing so well so intertwined with this i i feel like it's you know somebody that is jealous and wants what you have so i feel like some of you being served with some court papers, even though we don't got the justice card here. I feel like you're suffering. You're suffering with others as the week goes on. You're, you're suffering, but the suffering really doesn't need to be there because... Always with this card, you could turn around and go into that nice warm building. 
but you don't. You stay out in the cold. So I feel like over the last two weeks, you were avoiding something, avoiding facing something right on, and from the 1st to the 15th, you're facing it right on, okay? We're going to deal with this as hard as it is, as painful as it is for the, the rest of the family and for us, we are going to deal with it. And it has a financial attachment. I said that in the other reading too. It has some sort of financial attachment. Somebody jealous, someone wanting a piece of the pie and feel like they deserve it. So they're putting some difficulty in your life. I'm going to pull a card with that. Give me a little more clarity, even though I feel like for some of you, it's definitely a divorce. Yeah, you've made more money. You got more stability. Uh, you, you, and they want it. They want a bigger cut of the pie of what than what they're getting. So for many of you watching, this is going to be about somebody wanting. So you could have a worker that feels like they deserve more. You could have a business partner that backed out of the business and then suddenly wants back in now that all this money is being made or who didn't put their part of the effort in or just someone around you, your kids, someone wants a bigger piece of the pie that you have and they're putting you through grief to get it, okay? They're, they backstabbed you, they stole from you, they betrayed you, but at the same time, you were... Also, some of you are being accused as being their betrayer when you weren't, but some of you actually did some betraying yourself. And now this is the after effect. The person that you betrayed is coming after you. They don't like it and they say, well, I'm going to get even with you for going on and having a happy, successful life. And then we have this angel card here. So to me, <coughs> I feel almost like, excuse me, you guys, in all my videos I cough. I feel like things are out of your hands. I feel like you're going to have to turn to some spiritual forces to help you out. We'll get the devil card with it. So a false sense of entrapment being overly focused on material things, negative or fear-based thoughts, but it's the being over focused on material things that really come through to me because that's what I felt you were doing from the 20th to the 30th. You had the emotional issues of life on the back burner. You had some issue going on with someone that you put work first, okay? So this is what this card is telling me. So you're just really going to have to put it in the hands of the divine is how I see this. You're going to need patience, a lot of it. So you're going to need to be praying. You're going to need patience. And faith that this is going to be taken care of, okay? But you need to step up and ask for a divine hand to come into things. Because for the 20th to the 30th, I definitely saw the divine hand doing you a favor and stepping in. But here, now that you've decided to face this issue, or maybe you were forced to face this issue face on um in your hopes and fears and you're looking away you you just want to move on from this you're hoping just again focus on work focus on money and you don't want to deal with whatever negativity that someone else is throwing into your life you just don't want to deal with it but at the same time you're not having a choice because it's so in your face and this is a position of others so if this is you, this is the other, and they're charging towards you almost with as much fury as you're coming at them, okay? You're the more aggressive one here, 
but this is a pretty fiery card in the position of others and i feel like somebody just wants out of your life but they want a big cut of the pie because this is someone even suddenly or but it's sudden and quick movement but i feel they're going away from you so they just want give me my damn money give me a cut of the pie i'm out of here and from the first to the 15th this is a heavy burden for you okay because you just want to stay right on top of your world you want to stay dealing with your work and making money and not dealing with any nasty ex-wife or ex-husband or entitled children or whatever this is of somebody else in the background of your life wanting something from you it's really putting a toll on you and you would like it to be done but it's a whole two weeks of this so you're going to need some patience but by time the 15th comes you are back to being the king of pentacles so that can represent to me that you seek out some help i'm going to ask some clarity on that one okay so give me the clarity the king of pentacles because you're ending in a very strong position on the 15th yes